Good old cheese little week. I tell you, YouTube and updating software and default is now the new YouTube beta thingy. And it doesn't have live stream capacity. So it takes me for ages as to try to get through everything to try and get to this, to do my live stream. It's just a pain. Why make it default until it actually all working correctly? Okay, I'll finish rambling. My sound check is working. Hey, how's it going, Carter Videos? Hello, Joe. Hi, Darren. Uh, the Thumbtack Gamer. Oh, -ho. I haven't uh, haven't met you before. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Ugly Weirdo. <coughs> I uh, had a good time listening to some of uh, AJ's uh, live stream. It was good stuff. Anyway, let's um, let's just go through the normal stuff. Get things rocking along, okay? You will find the start time down in the description for anybody who's having any sort of hassles and decides that, you know, really I don't want to listen to all of this gobbledygook. I don't want to get past to the, the good stuff. So I will put the start time down in the description. Normally with my live streams, I present everything first and then open it up for questions and answers. But it's my day off. So on my day off, I just talk along with people while I'm either painting or crafting miniatures. And today we're going to continue with the air elemental. The reason I am partly late is one, uh, it's YouTube's fault and the other one is I was uh, preemptively preparing some stuff which I don't normally do because um, I usually want to show you everything that I do but I didn't do that because I didn't want to poison myself so that's part of my excuse for why I am late so I do apologize let us get started let's get cracking into this Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I'm going to try and continue to make an air elemental. Yes, I know I started, I had a lot of hassles and problems. Um, wasn't quite as colourful my language as it has been in the past when I've had problems. But I have a better plan and I have taken my time to actually do a bit of, uh, a bit of homework you might say. So we're going to crack into this, make it work today, it's going to come out. I don't know if I will finish it, but I'm going to try and finish it. So I have selected a miniature to sort of copy, and that's what I'm essentially, I've got this in front of me, um, I've got a picture of it to show you, and that is what we're going to try and do for today. Whether it turns out that way is another story, but I'm getting closer, I feel like I'm on the right track. So let's get going. Okay, so you can see right now, I have managed to, yes, by all means, um, Darren, uh, listen, if you're cooking ding it, dinner, cook the dinner, okay? This is what we've had so far. This is what I'm trying to produce. This is what I'm trying to make. And one of the things I found with the, the poly rope is that it, it's really hard. You cut it and it, then it just separates and you wind up with a great, huge, horrible mess, which I don't want. I don't want a horrible mess. I want something successful. So what I've done is part of the reason why the live stream was late was I went outside with my candle. There's a wind blowing, of course. Uh, of course there's a wind blowing. And I've got my candle and I'm trying to melt the ends and squeeze it with the pliers. So I had a candle. Let's get this out of the way. Candle. Uh, a box of matches because I had to restart my um, candle many times. And I was melting this and crushing it like so. I'm not going to demonstrate because as I said it's poly rope and I'm in a confined location and it would be bad for me and um, I, I want to I want to live. I want to live. I, I still have something to uh, contrib contribute to the uh, human race so that's why I'm not doing it during a live stream. So I'm going to now super, well not super glue, I'm going to hot glue a lot of these bits that I've cut at different lengths for different areas of the body. That is my plan. So preemptively, that's what I've done. I've done a whole lot of these, started with a whole lot of this stuff, okay, and I've made all of this. And this is going to help me create the, the texture for my miniature. That's my plan. Okay, so let's get started. I'm hopefully my hot glue gun is, is uh, melted enough that it will actually do its job. Uh, it seems to be doing something. <clears throat> Need a drink of water. Now while I'm doing this, by all means, grab your own projects, whether you're painting or crafting, and do that along with me, you know? I don't expect you to, uh, I think that's going to be better for somewhere else, we'll put that somewhere else. Where would that go nicely? Oh, and I don't think so. Mm, 
and I must have made it to go somewhere. It's probably just long and I, I just didn't really think about what I was doing at the time. Or maybe it is supposed to go around here. No, I don't think so. It just doesn't suit him. It's just not the right style. It's just not stylish enough for him. I'll put that away. I'll deal with that later. Let's find a shorter one. This one here is still kind of on the longish side. I really want to get the arm done because the arm didn't really quite come out the way I'd hoped. Let's try doing this. Hi Joe. I'm gluing my um, Gale Force 9 Xanatha figure together right now, thanks to uh, Fred. Yes, well, you, you got to see how I did it and what mistakes I had to encounter, and now you know how to do it ex without having any hi hitches. This is the great thing, right? You get to see it as it's done. Ha 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 ha. Ah, <clears throat> You try, try transcribing game notes. Oh, okay. How did your game go, by the way, um, Ugly Weirdo? Now, I'm not calling, somebody's thinking, no, that's his, that's his name, he's put his name up as Ugly Weirdo, I'm not giving him a hard time, so don't get upset in the chat. <clears throat> I'm not, um, I'm not abusing him. Oh. See, this is, this is where I didn't really think about it, I should have just glued part of it, so I didn't burn myself. I haven't managed to do so just yet, but give it time. When you hear the, ah, then you know I've hurt myself. Um, or I'm stuck to the miniature. That's always fun too. Stuck to the miniature. What's that ugly weirdo? Always fun and always according to plan. That's right. Everything's always according to plan. You know, dungeon masters never have any problems whatsoever. It's not like anything happens that's, that we weren't planning. The, the players always do things that are totally predictable. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I really want to encourage you guys to go and check out Quest Givers. It's a YouTube channel. It's got uh, DM Scotty and um, oh, oh, the guy from DM Info. And they do really, really good videos. And one in particular, which I totally agree with, and that is why having a really involved backstory is bad. Um, I don't know if a lot of people understand why it's bad to have a really complicated and in-depth backstory because of course this seems to go against the grain in terms of what is expected now nowadays. You know, people watching um, Critical Role and getting advice from YouTube and the internet and the expectation is you'll spend lots of time building a complex and involved backstory. But the thing is, <clears throat> there's, a, there's actually only, they did a really good video, I suggest go and check it out. Um, but the things that you need as a dungeon master from your player when it comes to backstory are actually fairly simple. There's not a lot of things you need to have, right? The sorts of things that I absolutely need to have is I need to know what their character name is and where they came from, you know, you know where, they, where they were born, where they came from, what, what they used to do before they became an adventurer. Um, those are the sorts of things I really need to know. I need to know why they decided to take on the life that they are taking on. They've, they've obviously shifted their way of life, or, or maybe they haven't. Maybe it's always been there. But I need to know whether that's the case or not. So as a dungeon master, I need to know why they are an adventurer. And if the players know and they can communicate that, that's really, really good. So those are the sorts of things. I'm going to see if that'll wind around there. I think I can probably do that. I won't get too quite quite so carried away. I won't try and do it all the way around. I know for some of you that's um, not good because that means I won't scream and yell quite so much. But I think it's probably better. Let's try to be safe. I'm going to be a safe kiwi. Safe kiwi. Oop. Oop. That, that burnt. That hurt. Okay. So those are the sorts of... Those are two things. Now the other... There's two other things. There's like four different things that I can think of that I really need. So I need to know where you came from. I need to know why you have chosen a life as a, of an adventurer. And I need to know why you are adventuring with the group of people that you are with. So if you have connections with them, what are those connections? Those are the sorts of things I need to know. And then lastly, the last thing I need to know as a dungeon master, as part of your backstory, is I want to know 
why you decided to go on the adventure that I have presented to you as a dungeon master. Okay, that's the, those are the four key things that I really want to know. Everything else, you can build and create as you go. You do not have to do all of that straight away. And in fact, that's the whole point of playing the game, is to build the story, not do it. You're not starting off as an adventurer. You, you're becoming a, an adventurer by doing stuff. You know, the whole, you build your character as part of playing the game, not before you play the game. Um, and I know if you're starting off at a higher level than level one, then maybe that would be a little bit different, but then that's, that's where you, you, you start with the first idea. Where did you come from? I was a farmer and I decided to do this. I don't need like paragraphs. I actually find it frustrating as a dungeon master when players show up and they have pages and pages of information. What I want is one succinct paragraph, maybe maybe four or five sentences that gives me the basic idea. And the rest of it, they can just create and make as they go. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, that's working out really well. I feel like this is going to do do much better than last time. I do, <clears throat> to be fair though, I did actually, you know, I didn't actually prep any material last time. I just jumped into it like a silly bugger that I am. Halfway through. As long as the chaos, um, plan is chaos, right? Yeah, absolutely weirdo. Is the plan chaos? Then that's the plan we'll go with. Isn't it funny when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons and um, the players spend a long time preparing their plans and getting into arguments and getting upset about what they're going to do and they wind up selecting the plan that often is the silliest and most ridiculous plan or they spend all that time planning and it didn't work out. Not necessarily because it wasn't a good plan though. Ugly weirdo. Um, I've taken recently to making my players take a trinket and to write part of their backstory around that item. Well, that's fine. You know, um, if, if you feel that that's really going to add to it in some way, I suspect that you're using... Hi, Tom. How's it going? Tom Critter. Um, I suspect you're selecting the, the, the trinket is going to be part of a story for that character, right? I suspect that's how you're trying to tie them in. Uh, to your campaign in some way. So I suspect you have a lot of player agency where they get to actually, you know, uh, determine a lot of what's going to take place in your campaign. If you've got a game that's working that way, that's great. Um, my player agency tends to revolve around um, when a character dies. I build in more player agency when a character perishes in combat. And uh, that character uh, has to come back, not because of their own means, but because they they need the DM to give them a favor. Oh, 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 that hurt. Ah, it's doing it again. Ah, burning myself. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to get my tool. Where's my tool? Bring my tool with me. Oh, God, blimey. Hold it. Just suck it in, suck it up. Uh, our ugly weirdo. That cuts down on their, ba on their other backstory. Okay, so you're using the trinket as a focus point. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, ugly widow. It gives me ideas for plot hooks. Yeah. So you can create like a, an adventure or a plot, plot hook around the trinket. So that trinket is really the um, MacGuffin. It's going to lead into an, whether it's like part of a journal that will tell them where, what, you know, lead them into a some sort of ruins or whether it's half of a treasure map that they have um, uh, they've got in their backpack and they don't have the other half so they've got to find the other half before they can actually go and find the lost city or the treasure that you're talking about yep makes a lot of sense um, I think that's a good way of going about it but yes most of my player agency occurs when a player does something that results in their character dying and then they need my assistance to, to continue playing. And I like to do it that way because um, then they don't view character death as like a, the worst thing they could possibly have. Um, it, I give them complications. So now when their character dies, it's a complication. Um, and I always make it clear that when they, I do this, 
that there is a way of getting rid of the complication. All right. Okay. So yes, I guess we I guess we wound up talking about backstories today. I wasn't really thinking about doing that. And I wasn't honestly sure what I was going to talk about today as I was sitting here. Usually I leave that to you guys to sort of decide where where the conversation will go. Um what's that? Uh Matt Oates, how's it going? Um uh, bet he does a a great golem impression. Me? You think you you you're talking about ugly weirdo? Or you're talking about myself? I don't know. I, I I've never been very good at holding the um the accent of a monster or creature. I have a brother-in-law, Jono, um, who lives in my house, and he's an expert. In fact, I think that's part of the reason why my sister, my middle sister, married him because of his um golem impression. I know that sounds strange. I think that wasn't the only reason, but it, certainly that was a, a big part of it. He's very good at it. Okay, so that's got that there. I'm just dis trying to decide whether I want to. I'm going to actually use a bit of hot glue and sort of just s run it across there a little bit. Just see if I can stick that down a bit more. And I'm going to just run a little bit of hot glue along there and just wiggle it around. And that's really just to help sort of mesh it in, I guess. I'm meshing it. It's a meshness. I'm getting the meshness going. Uh, there we go. It's going to be irregular. I just don't want it to look like I've stuck a piece of rope on there. <laughs> Which I have. I, I have. I definitely I just, I stuck rope on there. Um, but I don't want it to look like that. Uh, that's what the hot glue is going to be hopefully doing, is getting rid of all those bits that don't look quite right. Okay, so where's my next piece? Let's just keep planning, keep moving. Um, that's very small. That's very small. I could put it in here. It's just about whether how it's going to fit. I feel like it's going to fit kind of like that. And that will build up that section there. Good. All right. That's the plan. Oh, oh, oh. Forget. Grab my tool before I burn myself again. Where is it? I've got one of these uh, little scalpels, these um, Citadel scalpels. So I'm going to use one of them. All right. Let's glue in that section. And then, then stick it down. Hold it there. Press that down like so. And just let it set, let it set. Uh, what's that, Joe? I'll be running Wave Echo Cave next weekend. I'll probably watch your video a few times before I do. Oh, man. Um, I don't think Dear Jesus is here, um, Joe, but uh, Dear Jesus sent me a whole lot of PDFs of um, some of the maps that have been blown up. Uh, so they're all to scale. Taken from uh, Mike Schell's, uh high resolution maps, and so he's he's cut them all up, segmented them, so you can then uh, make copies of it, cut them all out, and then stick them together to make the actual location. So you don't have to draw it out. Uh, I don't know if you'll necessarily find that super useful. I really love the idea because what I've always wanted to do is take the maps, lay out all of the monsters and and creatures, and show the dungeon master sort of how monsters would interact in the environment as the players are working their way through uh, a cave location or um, a high you know the red brand hideout or Cragmore Castle or Cragmore hideout I wanted to sort of be able to show people how it would play out I don't know that I'll ever have enough time to get a wave echo cave done in time and I didn't really provide that much information on Wave Echo Cave. But um, yeah, there is what, how, what videos are there that would be useful for that? The Black Spider, uh, Mormisk, Mormisk the Wraith, those two videos. And I think that's probably about it. I haven't really done enough on Wave Echo Cave or what's going on there to sort of uh, have any more than two videos on that topic. Right, 
let's see okay so that's mostly stuck in place just keep working my way through where's the where's the bits of bits of rope we're ropeizing him roponizing him ropen ropen hosing 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 something like that we're putting rope on him okay where is that's not that's too long let's get a shorter one and i'll try to wrap around like so i think that's that's the plan so half of it so i don't burn myself again probably going to happen anyway but i'll take what precautions i can oh hold it hold it there we go just hold it there and just wait for it to set <clears throat> But yes, it does mean that because Dear Jesus has given me those maps, um, there's a very strong possibility that in the future, once I get a bit of money together and a chance to go and do it, go to a, um, a supply store, you know, a printing supply store, that I'll get those uh, PDFs printed out, cut them up, lay them out, and actually do exactly what I said I would do at least a year ago, I think it was at least a year ago that I started this whole process with the Lost Mine of Fandalva. So yes, and um, I suspect he might be doing the same for the Curse of Strahd. So there's a high probability that you will get some area videos on the Curse of Strahd, depending on how well I do with the Lost Mine of Fandalva. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so that's mostly stuck in place. Let's um, plant some more of this down. And then, oh! So, and then hold it in place. So a bit of a slow process, I have to, have to say, doing, this, doing it this way. <clears throat> if there's, there's probably an easier and simpler way but I don't really want to use um, putty because it's every time I pull out the putty, people assume that there's a lot of skill involved and it's not, it, there, there's not a lot of skill. It's actually pretty simple. It's not hard. It's not difficult. There we go. <coughs> Mamma mia. Mama okay. Oh, that's still not set. Let's leave that alone. Um, and there's a little bit of something going on here. I've got to decide what I'm going to do there. I don't think I can get a piece of rope in there. So instead, since I've got stuff there already, I am just going to leave it for now. And I'm going to work on a different area. Such as this one. I was really struggling last time trying to make that work. I don't know why, but... Oh, I know why. Because I was trying to do something I've never done before. Yeah, that'll be why. Let's wrap that around like so... And then keep going, or do I go the other way and wrap it around like so? And then it just sort of sits like no. Okay, that that is um that is too long. I need a shorter piece. Is there a shorter piece? There's. I've got lots of pieces. I did try to um, measure them out as I was going, but okay. All right. So let's start with that little bit there. Da, 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 da. So next weekend, for those of you who are here and are interested, um, I am probably going to do a player um, Q&A. Uh, I think top on the list was doing the core Dungeons & Dragons 5e rules. So I will actually do a, a video on uh, some of the core rules. That will be on my Saturday, my weekend. That's Saturday in New Zealand, and I'll cover things like attack rolls, saving throws, skill checks, ability checks, um, and some of the basics of um, combat in terms of the maneuvers, such as dodge, disengage, things like that. And yes, I will use miniatures and dice in a battle grid because it's easier to do it that way rather than just talk about it or actually do it. I'll get out the whiteboard. It'll look all very schooly. Um, but yeah, that was my plan for next weekend. And I'm hoping that a lot of people enjoyed the Curse of Strahd DM guide on preparing the Curse of Strahd from yesterday. 
Uh, took me a long time. I, I, I spent way too much time compiling information when I really should have just not worried quite so much about it. But you think about these things and then you're like, ah, oh, okay. I didn't really need to go into quite so much detail, but I like doing the slideshows. I feel, I feel like, you know, the slideshows sort of help a lot to sort of visualize what's, what I'm talking about. So that's why I do it. Um, and it is kind of fun too. And it makes it easy. I don't have to worry about the camera pointing at my face while I'm talking. I find that harder. Harder to deal with. Uh, what, Joe? You liked the Curse of Strahd preparing um, video? Cool. Good. There's a high probability, high probability that I will do a video on actually running the Curse of Strahd in a very general sense rather than specifics. Um, but that will probably be a month away, maybe even longer, because there's another topic there that I noticed that people had asked for that I haven't done for Dungeon Masters, so that'll be in the next, the next month. I still haven't decided what will be the next, um, Lost Mine of Fandalva, um, video. Um, I'm still sort of playing around. I guess I, I keep, I pick up the things that sort of appeal to me as I'm going. And if somebody um, says there's something they really need help with, and I feel inclined, then I do it. You know, it's not really doing um, the channel for a job. I, I still, I'm still doing the channel because I, I like doing it. I like mucking around, and that's really what I'm doing. I'm mucking around. I'm not nearly as professional as the likes of Taking Twenty. Do, 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 do. or Nerdarchy, or WebDM, or the Dungeons and Dragons website. I'm not really nearly an, as, uh, as professional as those guys. I think I'm getting better though. Problem is, if I, I, if I had to do it for money, I would never be able to do the types of topics that I do. I would just have to make a whole lot of videos on the best and worst of something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, ugly Widow, it's fun, you're fun. Good, cool. If I'm fun, I'm doing something right. Okay, so that, it's time to layer the back. This He's looking a little like his, the traps aren't quite right. So let's uh, let's bulk him up. Let's get some trap trap going stuff, trap trappish stuff going. Yeah. I don't know. Is that going to fit? Let's try a different one. That looks better. Okay. All right, so I'm going to hold this in place. If I scream and yell, it's because I'm a pussy. Okay, there we go. La -da 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 -da. Squeeze in the glue. You can see this. Watch it. Fingers, 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 and and up. Use my fingernail. It. Okay, use the tool. Only a tool doesn't use tools, right? <laughs> oh dear, I crack myself up. <clears throat> and what's that Darren? I think it's awesome that almost five years after it was released there's still a lot of interest in the starter set. Yes, there is. Oh, 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 almost forgot to say. Um, for those of you who were wanting to sort of uh, pick up the new Dungeons & Dragons, Stranger Things Dungeons & Dragons starter set, uh, you can get it on GameStop. As it, apparently it's supposed to be released in May, but uh, GameStop I don't know what, how it is they managed to pull that off because they, they have it. You can go and order it online and it, they will send it to you. Because uh, Nerd Immersion, another channel that I watch, and I'm sure some of you do too, uh, does reviews and he, he got a copy. And he ran the adventure on Twitch TV. So if you wanted to go and check that out, you could. Because he's, uh, he's got it up. It's there for you to watch now if you want. And I believe he will eventually put it up on his YouTube channel, but it's on Twitch and TV right now. So it'll probably stay on Twitch TV exclusively until uh, whatever time he feels it should be transferred over. Which probably, because I, I know he's got a job, um, and it's not uh, YouTube, and it's not Twitch TV, uh, I imagine he'll put it up when he's ready. There must be like a period of time that you've got, you know, a latency period between, you know, broadcasting on Twitch TV and transferring over to YouTube or some such thing. Maybe it's just the time it takes you to actually download it and upload it. 
And if it's it's about four hours long, so it's a long. He's picked a whole bunch of four hours long of gameplay, and he's picked a whole bunch of YouTube channels and other YouTube channels to do with Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Jordan's on there. He's playing the game, and who else was there? Um, a couple of people I don't really recognise, but that doesn't matter. So yes, you could check that out and see what you think. And yes, the Dungeons & Dragons starter set has been just phenomenal in making the, the whole uh, hobby just expand and grow. It's been wonderful. I spent so much time trying to make Dungeons & Dragons in my own country. Um, you now take it out of the basement, take it out of the underground, because everything was underground before, you know. You, Nobody talked about it. Nobody knew who played Dungeons and Dragons unless you sort of bumped into them by accident. Or we hung out at a game store and asked a lot of questions that were awkward. Uh, which I did many, many times. So I totally get it when people struggle to find people to play with. Here he is. Thank you, Joe, for the super chat. Hey, thank you a lot, Joe. That's awesome. Um, there he is. There's Dear Jesus. Hey, need a 17, a 17 map of Wave Echo Cave? Need a 17? I'm not sure what that means, dear Jesus. Um, you need a 17. I'm still lost. Error. Not 17, meant segmented. Yes. Yes. S send me, if, you, if you've got a segmented um, map of Wave Echo Cave, send it to me. And I will, I, I don't, I, there's no way I'll get it done before, um, before uh, it's needed, okay? So I'll never get it done before um, Joe needs it. It just won't happen. But um, I would love you, if you did, that would be cool. And I will, I will, I'll cover it. Joe's unlikely to get it done in one session anyway. So, yeah. I'd, I'd be I'd be really pleased if you could do that. Send me that. If I don't already have it, send me it. Okay, that's stuck in place. Um, what's this, Joe? Been working a lot of overtime, Fred. Get yourself some more glue on glue on me. Keep up the good work. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm down to what am, I'm down to my last glue stick. It's not, it's not that expensive, the glue stick. And to be fair, I got paid. My new job, I got paid. That job is tough, man. Those kids are going to make my... my. I, I just can't sleep half the time. I went and bought some wheat bits because they come to come to school and um, or come to the course and they haven't eaten. And they constantly on their phones, which I totally get, but um, I can never get them to do anything. <laughs> so it's been rough, I have to say. These are all... the kind of kids that didn't, didn't make it through the main school system and they're all trying to do a, a building certificate at level two in New Zealand. So it's, it's not been very easy so far. But thank you very much. I will go and buy some more glue. Um, da -da -da -da, Joe, yes, yes, Joe definitely needs it. So um, I don't know how you're going to do that, but... Um, You'll probably be able to find each other on the the YouTube, not the YouTube, not the YouTube, the Facebook group, How to D&D. &D, and then send yourselves a private message or something and then flick it that way if you want to um, keep it um, keep it between yourselves. Do, 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 do. What's that, Darren? I saw that in the group, uh, DJ, great idea. Yes, it is. It, it was so it was so awesome. I'd been waiting for somebody who'd come along who had done that um, because I couldn't figure out how to do it myself. I'm I struggle with the YouTube thing really. Mum has been trying to send me a tripod with a circular light for uh, my YouTubing. Apparently, it's supposed to give you a better quality picture from the lights rather than then. I mean, I've got. I've got lamps, I've got two lamps, but apparently it's supposed to provide even better light than before. I haven't gone and picked it up. She's gone to the beach, and I am gluing miniatures together. Or I'm gluing rope onto a miniature. That's more accurate, right? It's not really gluing miniatures together. 
It might. Oh, 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 that hurt. Oh, yep, yep, oh, that hurt. I'm touched the wrong part. Oh, I'm really losing it now. Concentration, Fred, stop doing the stupid. Oh, darn. Okay. Ah, okay, all right. Just quiet time. Think happy thoughts. <laughs> um, Tisan Dri, have you thought of using super glue? The only problem is I would probably stick my fingers with the super glue to the miniature, um, which would cause me more pain, and I would more use. Instead of getting burnt, I would lose flesh. So I, I don't want to use the super glue, and it would be costly. The whole idea, see, it says making a cheap D and D miniature air elemental. Super glue is much more expensive than hot glue, and I've used a lot of glue. Right, so far I've used tons of it. Look at that. But it's it's coming along. She's getting there. I I may need to um, go over sections to sort of look at let, so it doesn't look like a giant piece of rope. But I, I know it does. It looks like a giant piece of rope. Yep, Darren. It's also saves on printing a whole map at uh, kiddos. I don't know what kiddos is, and allowing your group to wonder wonder how large the map really is. Yes, yeah, because you can if it's segmented. You get that, um, uh, what is it, fog of war effect, don't you? Somebody had asked me to try and do a fog of war video, and I was like, uh, just put bits of paper over it or something. But then, that segmented idea just makes all the difference. Okay. I'm going to wrap this round as, as mullet, glue it in place, and we'll see how we go. Then, then we're going to move on to something else because I've been putting rope on this thing for ages. There we go. Oh, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Blimey, did it again. <laughs> Glowing myself to it. I need to use rubber gloves. Yep, yeah, Tom, Tom, you're probably right. Yep. I have the same problem with uh, super glue. I began using rubber gloves when I glue and glue with it, just because of how often I glue my fingers together. Onto the mini. Well, that's yeah. I don't want to lose the the skin. I don't either. Want, I don't really want um, the, the rubber glove glue um, stuck to my miniature either. So um, the hot glue is going to be it for now. Just try not to glue quite so much on. I'm a sort of in a rush, you know. You know how it is. I get into this pattern where I like, oh, there's people watching. I've got to get more done, rather than oh, Fred, it's your day off. You can just cruise. You could take five hours to do this if you really wanted to. Nobody would be watching it, but that's all right. Um, <laughs> uh, dear. Okay, all right. So I'll glue a little bit more of this round. So I'll just... I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Fred, that looks really, really stupid. Trust me. Trust me. I, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Once you've heard those words, you know something's up. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Ha 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 Ah, dear. Uh, what's that, Joe? You might get more views if you title your crafting videos something like, Watch me glue my fingers together. Okay, Joe, the next time I do this next weekend, if I'm gluing anything, I will write down in the uh, in the description exactly that. Watch me glue my fingers together. I'm sure somebody will come and watch. <laughs> um, at Fred, what's this, dear Jesus? I would keep a wet towel uh, nearby when you uh, when you get the hot glue burns. Yeah, I probably should. Oh, I've got water. That's right. I brought water, cold water, with me. Oh, I didn't open the container though. See, this is the problem. Partially ready, and I have a towel for um for drying myself off. All right. Yep, that's it. That's good. We'll we'll do that. Okay. So now I got to. I want to stick this bit on. I don't know how. Just just, sh just shove it on there. Yeah. Stick on you. There we go. I've got it. So I've got my water, and I've got my towel, and so yes, with the burns, I don't want to hurt myself too much, right? 
What's that, Darren? I brought the Roll20 version of Lost Minor Fandalva when it was released, and it was very, very disappointing. Oh, really? Um, it may be better now, though, but it needed a ton of extra work. Well, that's that's not acceptable, right? Because you're you're buying a product. You, you, it wasn't free. You had to pay for it, so it should be a final and complete product, right? So that would that would annoy me quite a lot if I wind up spending money and you don't actually get what you want in terms of the digital um, product. Do you know what I think? I honestly think you probably would have been better to buy um, Mike um, Shaley's uh, high resolution maps and drop them into Roll20. That's probably what, because not only that, you can then use those maps to print them in a printed version if you decide to use, uh, you know, play at a real table rather than over the internet. Okay. Uh, do oh, okay. All right. So that's okay. So I think I've I've stuck a lot of bits and pieces on here. I want to get some hands on this little sucker. So I'm going to get rid of the rope for now. I might come back and, and build up different sections with the rope. But right now, let's let's make some hands. Move the hot glue away because that'll just burn me again. And clearing my space, clearing my space, and where's my corks? I was going to use corks for this. I have no idea if it's going to work. I've got a, na a knife, so this time there's a good chance I might bleed rather than burn myself. I think that might um, cause problems for YouTube. I don't think they like it when there's blood involved. Okay, so I'm going to get the big knife. I had a better knife, but my mum is um, borrowing it. Uh, not, not my mum? No, my sister. My sister borrowed it. And I'm trying to make hands that kind of look like this. But I don't know how to do. I'm just going to cut off some bits. Slice off some bits and then start from there. But yeah, she's got my Stanley knife. My Stanley craft knife. Just a classic Stanley knife, you know. It's uh, been around for years. And I thought, wow, I'll grab that. But she's gone to the beach and I don't have it. Which is a bummer. But it's too late now. Okay. Now, so what I want to do is I want to cut some longer bits out of this. I don't know how, oh, don't get too carried away. I'll cut this in half. Eh, eh. Uh, what's this? Um, Dar Darren, I actually did that prior to getting the official Roll20 version. I have a ton of Mike's maps. Oh, ton. Oh, okay. Which maps do you have, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I know I should go and buy them. It's just it wouldn't make any difference to me because I don't know what to do with them. Remember, I'm the I'm the dumb bugger. I have no idea what he's doing with half the stuff on internet. It's just a tool as far as I'm concerned. <sighs> Most of the tools I'm used to using are um, <clears throat> for carpentry rather than for um, digital stuff. Okay, Ooh, that's it. Let's cut that off on the side there. What am I doing? I don't ask any questions till you till they see the final result. Uh, do New Zealanders play knife spoony like the Australians do? What is knife spoony? Oh, I okay. Hang on. I think you you are you talking about putting your hand on the table and then um, stabbing around your fingertips or some silly thing like that. Is that what you're talking about? I don't actually know too much about knife spooning. I doubt it. You'll have to describe it to me. If you describe it to me, I'll know. Right? New Zealanders would like to think that they don't do anything like an Australian. Um, it's one of those things, you know. The Australians are uh, a nation that New Zealanders like to I guess, um, love to hate and take the piss out of and generally um, give a hard time. But when it comes to, if we ever go to war with anybody, we'll be going to war with the Australians with, and they'll be our allies. I don't know what it is, you know. We give them a hard time about the sports and everything else. But when it, the chips are down and uh, they need our help or we need their, and they need, you know, um, or we need their help, um, we fight together. It just seemed, always seems to have worked that way. 
it's a strange relationship for two nations, but that's how it seems to work. It's a, uh, a Simpsons joke. Ah, oh, okay. It's an old Simpsons reference. Mm. Okay, so here's here's a big tip. My brother-in-law, Jono, loves, he's obsessed with The Simpsons, and I can't stand it. I just can't cope with listening about The Simpsons anymore. I've heard so many stories about how wonderful it is, and I'm like, oh no, don't tell me another story. I don't want to know about the pig walking on the ceiling. And then, what is it, um... SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh my god. Why are people obsessed with a sponge called SpongeBob SquarePants? Alright. So I'm cutting long bits that are gonna maybe be fingers. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> is that actually gonna be the case? I don't know. I have no idea. What's that, Darren? That's the same with the US and the fine folks in the. Oh, are you talking about? You're talking about Canada and um, United States. Yes. Now I get it. Yes, I can believe that. When the chips are down, you fight together, but every other time, you love to hate each other. It's the ongoing joke. I don't know, maybe lots of nations have that same sort of relationship. I think the um, the Irish and the um, the British definitely don't, though. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. So I'm cutting these into long little bits, and then what I'm going to do, once I've got about eight of them, I'm going to shape them with the other other precision knife. Oh boy, Tom, you're in. You're Canadian. Ah, uh, da, da da da. I could say I'm Canadian, but you wouldn't believe me. I'm not actually. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the koala. No. You know the koala in Australia. The reason it always looks like it's it's always sleeping, it's because um, eucalyptus is it's poisonous, right? Eucalyptus trees are poisonous, and the koala eats the eucalyptus tree, and when it does so, it's actually having to fight that poison, and it, what it does is it's trying to put the um, uh, koala to sleep. Now, the koala's got a, a body that can cope with that. But it means it's always moving slow and always snoozing because it's always having to fight the poison that it's eating. It's a strange development. If we ate it, we'd be toast. Um, but yeah. Interesting how animals um, function, right? You could have like a monster in your world that feeds on something that everybody else would find deadly. Um, but, it, you know, it survives, but it's always sort of running at a slower pace because of that. The world is stranger than fiction sometimes. Ah, come on you. Just, yeah, right, there we go. Right. I have no idea if this is going to work. Oh, I have no idea. Okay. Now I need, like, some bits for the, the hand wristy bits to stick the fingers on. So, um, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to slice around. Sort of roughly to the size that I think it needs to be. It's just... Little cuts, little cuts, little cuts. No blood yet. That's good news. Uh, what's that, uh, Tom? Honey badger. Do the same with uh, snakes. Uh, they can get, um, get bitten a lot. And just sleep it off. Yeah. Why not? Gotta love the badger. I had a character that ate a badger, actually. An injured badger in one of the games. Only to find out that the NPC that we tried to save later on um, asked us where the badger... If we'd seen a badger uh, running around anywhere. Or wandering around. And um, I'd eaten his little pet. I felt really bad about that. It was funny, though. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, so this, this could stick on, on here, but it looks way too big. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna trim it a bit more, um, and probably not with that knife, but I will come back to that in a second. Uh, what's that, dear Jesus? Um, just sent you a message. Okay, good. You guys got the map sort um, stuff sorted out. Awesome. That's good news. Yeah. Nice. She's going well. Hey, um, dear Jesus, how long does it take you to transform um, Mike Shale's uh, high-resolution maps into segmented maps? You must have to use some sort of software, right? And I would imagine it's a, a lengthy process. It probably isn't like five seconds or a couple of minutes here and there. I'd be, I'd be kind of curious as to um, how long it takes you to do all that. I don't think players know just how much time Dungeon Masters spend preparing. And it's not the things that they think that Dungeon Masters are preparing. It's often other things that they, they never will realise what's going on. I know, I know my players are always confused about what I actually prepare for. <laughs> uh, the, uh, don't, let them, don't let them know. Don't let them know. <laughs> mm. uh, couple of minutes. Laugh out loud. Okay, all right. If I did it, it'd probably take me three hours and I still wouldn't, wouldn't have figured it out. I've got like a, um, a PDF of a, 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 a battle grid that you can, I mean, I've got a, did a video on it years and years ago, right? And uh, that particular PDF, I never made it. I actually got my mum to make it. She was the only one who was smart enough to figure that one out. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thanks, the dears of Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so let's switch out that knife. That's not really helping me. I'm going to go with the... This is the one that I'm, I, I'm afraid of because I feel like I will definitely hurt myself. So this is the one we'll use. <laughs> and I'm just going to just, just chop off little bits around here. Like so. Yo, yo, yo. Like so. Hot glue gun is working still, so we can use that in a second. And then, uh, right now, that's sort of. I feel like that's going to help a lot. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. This is a little bit thicker. Maybe I need to make it a little bit thinner. Can I slice off a little bit? Nah, I need a bigger knife. Bigger knife. I'm really missing my Stanley um, heavy duty knife. I've got a Stanley heavy duty knife and I can really do with that right now. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So it is still very warm in here. For those of you who are wondering when I'm going to go back to painting, um, not anytime soon. I've got the door open, I've got the window open. I've got lamps with light bulbs in them that don't produce a lot of heat and I'm still cooking and I, I'm tempted to take my shirt off. You won't be able to tell that I've taken my shirt off, but I, I'm very tempted it now. I'm going to do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm shirtless now. <sighs> there we go. I can, I can feel my sweaty pits right this very second. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, you didn't really need to know a lot of information, I do realise. <clears throat> I'm just being naughty. It's my day off, man. I'm allowed to do whatever I like. Uh, what do we got here? Um, dear Jesus, the maps with Fog of War take a couple of hours, and the ones that are not edited or done with the Rastobator sounds so wrong writing it out. It does. It sounds really bad. And you've capitalized it and you've put it in quotation marks. Well done. Um, please don't remove that comment. I, I, I want you to leave that there. <laughs> My Xenitha is done, but I can't figure out which base to use. I'm liking the totally clear one because it really looks like he's flying. 
rather than the one with the uh, yeah yeah. I, I it was it was a tough choice for me. I, it took ages for me to decide. And what's that card of videos? Where am I? How would I know? How do I get here? And how late am I? You are extremely late, like super late, mate. Dear Jesus, they gave they give you two clear posts. So as long as I, yeah, that's just right. You can use either one. No, no, it, it's it, it it can't possibly be getting demonetized. Oh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Why would they do that? I don't. I can't. I can't think why. Seems totally unreasonable. Okay, so it's time to do some fingers. Cut some fingers. Not my fingers. I'm cutting is its fingers and I'm just round them round round round. Jana. Oh. I want to encourage people, for those of you who have showed up looking for how to make cheap Dungeons and Dragons miniatures, there is a really cool channel um, called The Bard's Craft. I am subscribed to him. Go and check out his stuff. He's made a Tarask. He's, he's made a, I think it's a blue dragon, a red dragon, um, an ice devil, a whole lot of different things. And they're so cool. And he makes it out of the simplest and cheapest materials. Now, to be fair, I think his level of skill is pretty significant, so you being able to duplicate what he's done might be difficult, but it's still worth going and having a look because it is really impressive. All right, so that is a, I'm gonna say that as a finger. <clears throat> I'm not doing the fingers. It's supposed to be, okay, it's quite a long finger, so we might have to cut it a little bit shorter. Um, I will decide later how short it needs to be. That's finger number one. Only seven more fingers to go. <laughs> What's that, Darren? By the way, for those who were following my post in the group, I had some printer issues and that required troubleshooting that prevented the spell effect from printing. Oh dear. But that's fixed and they are, they are up next. Okay, cool. So we're going to see some pictures. Nice. Yes, so for those of you who don't know, I have a <clears throat> I have a Facebook group for How to D&D, and you're welcome to join. I am the only one who moderates it, so if it takes a little while for you to be accepted to the group, you will understand because I do a lot of things, right? Um, but you are welcome to join if you want. And uh, we share all our bits and pieces that we do there. Today I spent part of my day not just melting bits of poly rope, but I was taking photos, a lot of photos, of the um, Dungeons and Dragons uh, tactical maps reincarnated. So I've got it, and I want to do a review, but I realized I couldn't do a review live, and I want to do a, a review live, and I, I wanted to be able to show you, but there's no way I could lay them out. They're way too big, so it's not going to work. So I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll take some still pictures. I'll do my live thing with the actual pack um, so you can see it. And then when I have to show you the images, then I can talk to the images that way. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't think of a way that I could make it work without having a whole lot of additional equipment that I don't actually own. So that is a plan. That should be coming sometime. I don't know when. <laughs> sometime. Let's get another finger done. Yay, yay, yay. Yay, 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 yay. I got this cork from a guy who used to work at one of the New Zealand uh, wineries. He gave me like a bag of them. It was awesome. And I knew I would find a use for them. I like cork because cork, unlike glue, will absorb paint easily I am quite sure of it and not only that it's not polystyrene you can't use hot glue and polystyrene it ain't gonna work it's gonna just melt everywhere but cork I can do that that will work so ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. there we go it's another one done haven't I'm not bleeding yet which is nice it's good for those of you who showed up for the blood I'm sorry uh, it hasn't happened 
Just make sure you cut away from yourself. Just like your mommy said, cutting away from yourself is the thing to do. You can't have the scissors or the blade and you start cutting towards yourself. I'm not cleaning you up. Uh, what's that, Darren? That's cool, Fred. I have been on the fence about getting that new map pack. Oh, mate. You know when I lost all of my a lot of my gear? Just about all of my maps were gone. I've only got just a handful of them left. And there's 20 of them. 20 of those maps. So I am so keen to do a review. And you could go and have a look. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, the Gallant Goblin, a new YouTube channel, does reviews on Dungeons and Dragons products, a lot of uh, miniatures and stuff. But he's got he's got a really good style. He's he his his stuff looks really professional. It's uh, not always that short, but it's really interesting because he does lore as well as he's uh, showing you off the miniatures, which I thought was quite cool. But he did a review on the Dungeons and Dragons tactical maps reincarnated. And he's got a very short, short video, and it's to the point, and it sort of covers things. Um, he's not that funny. Um, he's very sort of matter of fact, uh, and, and it's all pre-scripted and all that sort of stuff. So, if that's all right with you, go and check it out. And then all of what we've got: uh, uh, Dwarven Swiftbow, Draven Swiftbow. He did a review, but uh, it's a little bit hard to tell what's going on there. He doesn't really show you everything. He shows you some of the stuff, but you don't really get to see all of it. But yes, the Gallant Goblin. I highly recommend going and checking out that video if you're unsure, because it shows you all of the maps. He's he actually that's what he did is he actually took still images because he he realised he couldn't show anybody while though he was on camera. And it was going to be easier to just take still images, which is why I've decided to do exactly the same thing. The only difference is I'm going to do it live. You know me. Everything's live until I decide to edit something down. Uh, how long has people been working with the cork for crafting? I don't know. I've been at this for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I think that's something like that. I'm on to I'm on to another another finger. So cutting away. Oh, there's a bit of a breeze blowing through. That's nice. Just don't blow all the cork everywhere, otherwise I would get the vacuum cleaner out. Oh, oh, don't cut yourself, Fred. Don't cut yourself. Stay away from the from the flesh. No flesh cutting. Just the cork. What I need to do is I need to have a pin, right? If I had a pin, I still need to get myself some tweezers. Well, there's no excuses about Fred. You can't afford tweezers because you can now, so that's not not going to be an issue. Um, it's a very long time. I'm sorry, guys. You've you've shown up. It's it's like this sometimes. I wind up cutting cork for ages. We'll uh, we'll put a hand together, eh? We'll put a hand together. I'll do one now, rather than do all of the corky bits, which I could. I was very tempted to. <laughs> um, I will. I will stick a hand together now. I just. I'm just want to sort of see what it's going to look like. Hmm. I feel like I need to cut some angles into this to make it sort of work a bit better. So um, we're going to cut an angle in there so that I can stick one of the fingers there, and I'll cut another angle in here and I cut a really really big angle while well, I'm trying and there and that should hopefully break it up a little bit so that when I put it together it doesn't look quite so wacky ah uh, AJ uh, what's that um, model railroad people have been using it forever what's that what have they been using? Cork. Yes, yes, cork. Carter videos. Uh, my internet isn't very fast right now, but I'm staying at a hotel, so it's... Okay, I get it. Fast. All good. Hi, Brandon. Uh, do, does he go into much depth into uh, lore as AJ Pickett? Um, he, he goes into quite a lot of depth. 
the gallant goblin definitely talks a lot about everything he's he's definitely i wouldn't say he's aj pickett um material because aj's been doing it for a long time um yep dear jesus i will try to take my time all right so here we go so let's let's get some pins now when i say pins i don't mean like pins as in pins i mean like little bits of this that i can cut and then stick the fingers together now i'm pretty sure i had decided that the fingers are way too long so we're going to cut some of these on an angle on an angle and change things up uh, like so there we go we've got a finger that's bent <laughs> let's glue that together do i want to pin it as well i could i could try i could try i don't know if it'll be successful but we'll try there we go doesn't need to be that long where's my pliers there it is yeah Z player and then the the cut it cut it off uh, we cut it cut we cut it and now we put the finger in there there and there just go do Oh, there's a finger! Right, so we're just going to glue it together. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it when a plan comes together. He's got a big pinky, big pinky, big pinky. Do I need to wear safety glasses? Ooh, make sure you wear eye protection when you cut the pins. Yes, I, I forgot that again. Oh, hang on. No, I've, I've got some safety glasses. Where are they? Where have they gone? Ah, uh, they were right here a second ago. I did see them. <sighs> I think I was fortunate that I had one part stuck in the uh, the cork, so it didn't have a chance to sort of travel anywhere. So there's a finger one. So finger one can kind of go like so. I like the idea of them being bent. That's That's quite nice. So they can all be slightly bent just like me bent just like me um which is going to be the thumb i don't know who cares it just just uh, cut it fred cut the finger make a decision okay angle is not quite as steep this time so that means that when i glue it together it is going to be only slightly bent i still can't find my safety glasses I need to just make sure I stick them into the uh, the kit. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, what's that, dear Jesus? I uh, went into a comic shop yesterday and found a Ricky and Morton D and D comic. It was very well written. Hey, um, I was I was looking at some of my old comics uh, last night, and I was like, man, I had so many comics as a kid. And I just have nothing now. And I, I really miss them. Spider-Man. A lot of Spider-Man. A lot of everything, really. <laughs> but, um, yes, I miss them a lot. Okay, so... That... Needs to go... Just, yeah, twist it. Push it. And she's going to be... She's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Now, now, I know what you were thinking. Fred's going to get it done today. Fat chance. Fat chance. When have I ever got anything done that quickly? Oh, it has happened. Did the piercer. Did the piercer pretty quick, didn't I? It was like just over half an hour. Poor. Like speedy Gonzalez, that one. Um, what's that, Darren? Make sure to wear particularly if they've got that. Or oh, oh, do what you do with a brilliant idea. Yes. Yeah, my brilliant idea is to um, stick the pin into the cork before I cut it. <laughs> they're, they're, they are sticking to me, but I do feel that cutting the angle into them is going to make it look a lot more interesting. Certainly a lot more like the miniature itself. Okay, so let's cut about there. Let's do another cut. 
and then grab a bit of where it is and then shove it in and then get my pliers and cut it off as short as I possibly can well not too short but short is that short enough that's the question see there's the problem eh? you've got to get it really short for it to work that isn't going to be short enough I have to do it again If you don't succeed the first time, just try, try, try again. Uh, what's that, Brandon? Honestly, you, AJ, WebDM, and DD Beyond are my favorite content creators. Oh. I believe that um, the Dungeons and Dragons, um, Greg Tito, was asking who, who watches what. Problem is, I watch just about everybody. <laughs> a lot of big channels, a lot of small channels. And it's, uh, it's all a product of I would like to see what other people are doing as well. There we go. That finger is looking pretty good. I think that's going to be super awesome. What's that, Darren? Um, DJ, I didn't uh, know it was out yet. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Is that comic book a um, a new one? It's not an old one. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, they did say that they were going to have a comic book, didn't they? Although you wouldn't have found that out from my channel because I don't really do a lot of D&D &D news. Kind of feel if you're going to get D&D &D news, you might as well go and just jump onto the uh, official Dungeons and Dragons YouTube channel. Um, dear Jesus, it's in, what, trade... Paperback, so all comics in one book, and at the end there are character sheets of Morty and his family. Oh, really? Nice. All right, so that's another finger. We're getting closer to the fingers completion. <laughs> and we'll cut that. What do I want to do? I, I, I want to cut it. On a serious angle, but I feel like it's probably going to just be too much. So we've got, we'll we'll try to just cool it a little bit. Where's my little paper clip? Jam it in the cork. Jam it in the cork like so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Now that it's done, uh, we're going to cut it off. There we go. Cut. He's 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 handless. Look at him, he's handless. He's faceless and he's handless. <laughs> what have you done to him? Uh, okay. Uh, let's ram these together. Ramming speed. Okay, and this is just a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so one of the tips for you guys when you're doing this is um, uh, make sure you pick up the right finger that you've been trimming. Because I've picked up the wrong one. <laughs> So I'm going to have to do a little bit of trim just along here. And you can um, twist. Use a twisting motion when you're trying to put the pin in. Twist it. Twist, twist, twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. There we go. That's that. Almost got it. It's way too small. I should have done this when it before. If I'd only not picked up the wrong one, that would have helped. Okay. Get the knife out of the way so I don't cut myself. And then there's my finger. Well, it's not, it's the ear elementals finger, not my finger in particular. Right, cool. Let's glue that little sucker on. Like so. Just a wedgie that little baby together. A wedgie. No, it's not really wedgy, is it? Stick that finger together. There we go. We've got four fingers. We've got like a handy bit that's going to hopefully work. <laughs> I'm still a little concerned that it might not, so I will do a dry fit with pins to make, make sure it looks all right before I do anything more. So let's start with this one here. Be careful how how many uh, how deep I put the pin. I guess 
Right, pin and then trim. Pin and trim. Make sure the pin is not going to go all the way through, Fred. Because if the pin is too deep, then it ain't going to work. Let's do it again. There we go. And then I'll just break off at the end there. Oh, look. It's not brain surgery, but we're getting close. Uh, it's hand surgery. We're doing hand surgery. There we go. Come on. Come off. It's stuck. All right. Finger one. Where's my next one? Let's get that one done. Uh, da, da, uh, what's that, dear Jesus? You retracted your message. I will post the comic book covers on Facebook. Yes, do that. Absolutely. Take some pictures and, and, and show us. I'm, I'm very excited. Very interested. Ba, 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 na. There we go. It's mostly in. And we just trim that little sucker off. And then bend it. And there's another finger. Ready to go. I'm building my Frankenstein. Frankenstein's gonna have big body parts. Big, big body parts. Ramming speed. There we go. Go in! Yeah. A little bit of persuasion required. Uh, that's code for brute strength. I don't have a lot of brute strength myself, but it would be helpful. Okay, I'm going to trim the end off that because that looks like it's all benty and I don't want it bent. I'm going to straight. Uh, has a goal in the next room. A, a goat. Yeah, no, no, I don't have a goat in the next room. But Darren, you do make a good point. I have a goat next door. You know how I said that I thought I had a neighbor with a sheep and he buys a sheep and then fattens it up and then... Well, apparently it's not a sheep. It's a goat. And it makes noise day night morning every time of the day all the time and they've bought the goat to eat the grass that is pretty much taking over their whole property um so yes the goat is supposed to eat the grass it hasn't eaten that much grass i have to, have to say but it has certainly made plenty of noise so darren that's what it is i definitely i've got a goat next door it's not in my house it's just next door Let's just grab that and see if we can't use it to just. This is when you need to have like the um, short snout pliers rather than the long, long pliers. And I don't have any short snout pliers on me right now. In you go. Pinned it. And plier trimming time. Uh, D Jesus, I, I retracted because I said Strad shows up, but actually he is just mentioned. Ah, okay, all right. Okay. You're trying to avoid the spoilers. I understand. That one is kind of not going to be far enough sticking out. So I'll just, just... Okay, it'll do. It'll do. All right, let's do a dry fit. See if we can't get this hand to look like it's uh, a hand. Um... So that's a big whacking twist it, push it, twist it, push it. Go. Okay, so that, that bit's on there. It's uh, looking all rightish, I guess. And then we'll put another one here. Twist it, push it, twist it, push it. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Let's get another one in there. Let's do the small one. Or smaller. Twist it, push it, twist it, push it. God blimey. The cork. It don't want to do it. It don't want to do it. Let's try the other one. The cork has given me the finger. Alright. Alright, it's that. That. That's too close. Twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. 
かっぷっとっぷのマニーカーのスタイル。Alright, let's do that one over here. Ugh. Right, that's one, and then the last one with the pin that's not too long, unfortunately. Have to pull it out a little bit. That's better. Probably we'll just go back into the um, piece that I'm working with, right, because it's not long enough. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. <laughs> Fine. Chucking you away. Get in another one. Um. Um, uh, I, da, 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 what's that, Darren? I called a tech support line once where the agent had a roster in the a rooster in the back backyard. Oh, you think that's for, whoa! And what the, the story continues though? It was very strange taking instructions while a rooster cr crowd crowed every two minutes. Ooh, 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 ooh! So I used to work at Odyssey House. For those of you who who've been around a while, you know. The, the story. I've, I've, I've worked to drug and alcohol rehabs. So they used to have chickens, apparently. And the council came because you're not allowed to have a rooster or chickens in their area. You're allowed to get away with the chickens, but not the rooster, because it wakes everybody up in the city. And um, <clears throat> they came in, they had this rooster, they took the rooster away, and then two weeks later, there's another rooster in the, uh, the, hen, in the house, in the, the chicken coop. So the council came in and took that one out, and they discovered that that, that was actually two roosters in the, uh, the hen house. They actually had, uh, they thought they had like one rooster and 11 hens. The whole cage was full of roosters, and they couldn't understand why they, were all, they didn't get any eggs. So they had, the whole thing literally was just full of roosters, and they had to come back 12 times. Um, I think at the very end they were like, this is ridiculous. You've got a, a huge um, hen house full of roosters. Where did you go and buy the stuff from? Oh, that was so funny. Um, <laughs> thank you, Darren. It is, it's starting to look reasonably good, eh? I think what I will do is, because I have got the basic position figured out, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to take one off, glue it in place, then take the next one off, glue it in place. Yeah, I feel like that does need to be actually closer rather than... That finger looks a little bit weird there though. What have I done? I've done something wrong. It was good until I, I shif shuffled things around. I shuffled things around and then it all just went... Okay, that's that's the solution right there. Right, let's do some gluing. A lot of glue. Get my finger. Hold it in place. Nice. Nice. A little bit time consuming, but it's looking pretty good. That's that's one finger in. And we can do another finger. We'll do this one here, since I know where it's going to go now. And we'll grab the finger, and where is the hole? Shove it back in the hole. There we go. And then we grab another finger, and some hot glue. Hot glue. And we'll chuck that finger on. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm much happy about how things are going now. Whoops. St almost stuck to it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. That is my big elemental more fingers. Fingers, hand. Okay. All right. And I'm going to stick that on here when it's dry. And then I will use some hot glue and tidy it up. Okay, so what is the time? How are we doing it for time? All right, so we've got six minutes. Six minutes, I am going to do the front. 
face. I need this. So that means Millie Putt, drink some water, get the face on, glue the hands in place, and then go and feed my face. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, what's this, uh, dear Jesus? Uh, by the way, thin super glue will smoke on cork from what I remember. Does not work well. Not going to use super glue, using hot glue. Hot glue, it's been the ticket. I've got to do another hand, but that's going to be time consuming, so we won't do it right now. Instead, it's Milliput time. I've been hanging out to do this for ages. So we just push that over to the side and we get my knife where's that, that that knife will do and i need i feel like i actually need a fairly sizable amount of milli putt to make this work so i will cut off a decent amount this is a two-part compound for those of you who don't use it usually um, so you need to have two pieces roughly the same size to mix together and that Let's put that over there. No, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to need more. I'm going to make up quite a lot. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to use quite a, a sizable amount. Okay, roll it into a ball. Grab some more. And trim it off. It. The stuff I have to sort of mash together a little bit. It's a little bit of playing around required. There we go. Manchy, 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 mix, 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 mix it up. Yeah. Oh, I want to. I really want to stick that um, that hand on that uh, that mansion right now, but. Um, It's probably dry. Oh, I'm doing it now. I'll come back to that. Give me a second. Okay, so that pin is way too long, which is fine because I can cut that. Where is the pliers? Cut the pin. Chuck the hand on. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll do it more to there. That's it. And I can fill the rest up with hot glue to connect it. Um. Now I'm just thinking thumb, where my thumb would be. Okay, that, that's, that's where it's going to be. That's where it's going to live. Alright, so we're going to glue that in right now. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm too excited. And then we just press it in and press it in. <laughs> it's going to be able to grab things and crush it. Although air elementals are much better if you just drive them into your um, player's characters and just throw them all over the place. Okay. And now, if we use this... that that has now got a hand look at that that has got a hand look at that that is awesome <laughs> all right so um, back to the putty because we're gonna do the face slice of Scott are there any fun words or phrases you use to substitute 
substitute for profanity for NPCs. Yes, I used to work with a guy, um, Indian, who used to get into trouble for swearing, and he used to swear in vegetables. Uh, pumpkin, um, uh, what was it? Um, uh, fudge is common, but not quite so. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say funny, but p- being 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 told you're a pumpkin is is odd. Um, he used to go everything under the sun. So vegetables, but pumpkin was one of the um, one of the ones that I remember a lot. Um, he used to sort of just find a word that you, you you didn't like, and he would say it, but it wouldn't necessarily be a swear word. Kind of odd, but. I find myself um, having to tell the uh, the kids to stop swearing all the time. They, every every other word is a is the f word. <laughs> okay, so we're squidging this together, getting it all good and mushed together, and then we mix it and we make the face. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Don't know about you, I'm excited. Yeah, go over here, mate. You're you're in the way. No, you're not. I'm only kidding. There we go. And roll it into a ball. La 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 like so. And then it's not big enough. Not enough anymore. Uh, what's that uh, slice of Scott? Hey, ha, nice. I'm going to have pumpkin racing in my stride campaign, like uh, canoe ra- canoe racing, except in a giant pumpkin. Why not? I love it. I think it's a good idea. It's very it's very Halloweeny, isn't it? Really. Pumpkins and Halloween. What's that, Darren? Do Kiwis say um, say see you next Tuesday as much as Aussies? See you next Tuesday? No, I don't think so. Nope. I'm not really sure. Um, see you next any day. Uh, See you next Saturday. My friends say that a lot because that's the day we play Dungeons and Dragons. And um, see you on Monday. Uh, my boss will say that a lot. <laughs> I'm not sure. Never mind, Fred. I'm oh, sorry, Darren. If I if I have missed the point, haven't I? There's a joke here, and I've I've I've, I've not picked up. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so is that? It's still not enough. Ah, come on, come here, mix it up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I understand that DM Info is doing something different to his channel. <clears throat> His stuff is not being deleted, but he's doing something different. So I'm kind of interested to know what he's going to do. Because he used to do uh, crafting of terrain, right? So uh, what is he planning to do that requires a totally shift in what he's done in the past? I'm assuming this is to try to appease the YouTube um, intellectual brain, the artificial brain. But um, <clears throat> I've kind of given up on that. <laughs> it was too hard chasing it. Okay, that's good. We squeeze that together. <clears throat> and we'll just put that away. Put that over there. I'm just going to mix the two together. And once it's mixed together, what's that, dear Jesus? Um, are there any alternatives to cork that you would use for the hands? Um, what else could you use? That's a hard one. Um, off the top of my head, I can't, I can't think of anything really. Just the cork. I suppose you could just use paper mache. You could just use paper, right? You don't use need to use cork if you don't have access to cork. 
but I mean if oh yeah I suppose <clears throat> I suppose for those of us who are adults getting hold of cork from a, a wine bottle is not very difficult but if you are a bit younger it's going to be a lot more difficult so I, I kind of get it now I, I understand what you're talking about so if you can't get hold of cork what else what about um, egg cartons that cardboard's you know it's malleable you could crush it into the shape that you want you just need to tear it up and then crush it together and then glue it with um, I don't know if you can necessarily use hot glue but maybe you could use something else maybe you can use just PVA it would take a lot more lo time I think it would just be a longer process if you had to use a different product you could probably make it out of milliput it would just be a bit more expensive because milliput's more expensive than cork but you could make them out of um, milliput or f um, that um, baking clay baking clay here in New Zealand it's called Fimo but you you know whatever it's called in your country okay so I've got a big bit of putty <clears throat> which I'm going to flatten out and I'm going to fit over the space here and we're going to do some adjustments with the tool Right, meld it in. I'm sure it's pressed up so there's no air pockets. Where's my tool? There it is. Clean it off. And what's this? We'll just press that in there. I'm probably going to go back. <clears throat> I'm probably going to go back over this with uh, hot glue to sort of uh, connect it. Right now, all I'm doing is making sure it's sticking to the um, tin foil. And there we go. Probably didn't mix up quite enough. I should have made up a lot more. That's all right. We can fix it later. Like I said, that's what the uh, the hot glue is going to be for. But I can't put it on today. So this will be the last part of uh, today's live stream. Just tucking that down. Okay, so now, looking at it, <clears throat> look at me baby, show me what I need to do. So I want to do the evil look, so I feel like which tool is going to be best. I feel like it's this tool, I want it curved or I want it up. No, I want it that way, that looks, ooh, that looks bad, that looks like a bad mother. Let's go there. Bad mother. And then if I do the same thing on the other side. I don't know if you can necessarily see what I'm doing, but I am trying to give this thing eyes. Nothing super fancy or anything like that. It's not like it's super complicated. It's just an eye either side to make him look a bit evil. And then and that pointy bit, yeah, that's good, that's better. And then I'll do the same thing on this side, get that. It's sharpness in it. And um, okay, so now 
we've got kind of like a nose going on here so we'll just go with a couple little presses in like so and then I want to put some texture above it to sort of give them like a ridge there and the evil eyebrow thing going on someone is doing some vacuuming Alright, so let's deal with the mouth. Um, <clears throat> what's that, dear Jesus? Um, I saved my corks to make uh, tea trivets, but maybe cut pieces from the hot glue gun will be an option for me. Okay. Ugly weirdo. Oh, geez, that looks good. Alright, well, that's good news. If you think it's looking good, then maybe it does. Um, okay, so now I need to do the, the mouth section. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go in here, go in here, press that out. Press that out. And now he's got a lot more of a chin there than I've actually allowed for, so I'm going to go deep. I'll just push that putty out. All right, I think we're starting to get sort of a, a face going on here. If I've got really quiet, it's because I'm, I'm kind of concentrating a lot. So I do apologize if that you were expecting a lot more conversation, but um, yeah. Okay, and uh, how's that going to work? That's going to have to be. Ah, all right.
Now. Okay, I think that is good enough because I don't want to make it too perfect. It's an air, air elemental. It's not a an actual facial. So this is this is what I got. It's not exactly like this one, but I'm probably not going to try to do exactly what they've got there because it's too hard. But this is what I've got. Let me know if you think it's good or bad. So this is this is my extent of um, the face, and I'm going to use hot glue to sort of meld it into what's already there. And I've roughed it up, and it's got some eyes. It's got kind of a partial nose, but not really. And it's got its mouth section. So give me a thumbs up, or um, let me know if you think that's um, pretty reasonable in terms of the details of that. If it doesn't look like it's it's very good, then you'll let me know as well. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what I've been working on for the last hour and a half, trying to get, get something as similar to this miniature as possible. Uh, what's that? Oh, I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing, uh, uh, ugly weirdo thinks it looks cool. Dear Jesus, the way that looks as, as, as looks terrifying would be a good, rope clay golem okay so you think it's scary good slice of scott superb has a lot more character to it good excellent darren dang fred that looks pretty awesome nice joe lay um see you later guys yep see ya joe okay so that that's uh that's what we're gonna go with i'm gonna stop there we'll come back and continue with the miniature um next weekend do the uh the hand and i'll also work on the base and then sort of blend everything in with a hot glue gun and yeah we'll hopefully finish it next weekend i don't know we'll see but i'm that's what i'm aiming for i think we can i think i can do it all right you guys have a good night uh good morning good afternoon uh whatever it is for you make sure to look after your family look after yourself don't do anything crazy don't do anything i wouldn't do <laughs> and i i will uh, i will see you later but uh, anyway um yeah the usual thing share and like the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the bell button to be notified um if uh, if you want to actually get videos that are uh, you know notified of live streams and other bits and pieces um watch my stuff if you want to support me don't do patreon do have affiliate links down in the description all the materials i used for today are down in the description and if you have any questions, down in the comments is where to put your stuff. Okay, so till next time, keep rolling those 20s.